and uh, one had the, the hood up and I said maybe it's not some cable. But I was looking, I was ignoring my phone. Did this guy just came off from the, they got into the car? Just letting you know I'm recording what you're saying. I'm not yeah. you on earth, but I'm just recording what you're saying. So, See, it uh, was the, uh, this morning I was uh, I was here like at 11.30. I was at the little church called La Lomita. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is from the city of Mexico. Right. It belongs to the city of Mexico. Uh, this is where uh, people have parties, kid, kids come, people from everywhere comes here to this church because it's is, this is the oldest church in the valley, right? La Lomita. It's made out of mud and clay. There's the well right there where they make the bread. This is the oldest church. And there were kids playing here, everything. And I saw some um, parked cars. And I said maybe they're going to have like a small party or a small barbecue. Right. After a while, when I was inside the church, some, some girls came from, and they told me where, where I'm from. I told them, here from the valley. Right. And they told me, oh, so the river's right here, right? I told them, yeah, be safe. Right. Then, after she got a text, after that, they were loading people like nothing. Hey. Loading, loading, and there were four cars. Were they white people? Yeah, there were white <laughs> people. So people, what's happening? Yeah, people, so, think, people think they're... The coyotes are Mexicans no, and not. all Chicanos. They were white people. Right. They were loading. They get, I think they're getting paid well. Of or course. maybe the they tell them upstate, hey, if you cross these people and everything. When I was yeah, here. Because it's easier for white people to cross the, yeah, the, the check, checkpoint. The checkpoint. Another thing, this young guy came to me and he said, uh, hey, you waiting for somebody else too? And I told him, hell no. I'm, right. I'm here. I'm here as the water in the pants. He said, look, I, I work in a restaurant, yeah. and he had a real nice car, a 2020 uh, Infiniti. Mm -hmm. and, I, and he was well-dressed and everything. I told him, what are you doing here? He said, man, I need that, I need that money. Yeah. So I'm waiting for some people. I, I told him, bro, you, you're too young. But now that car, you think you're just going to load them up? They're going to kick your ass and take that car. Yeah. And you're not, the way I see you, you, you look dumb to me. Yeah. And he said, man, that's kind of, uh, I work in a restaurant, I'm going to get, get paid well, so I'm going to get some money. How much are you going to get? He said, I'm going to get $1,000 for each person. I told him, that's what they say. That's They're what they say. Get, they, you just, you just oppress them. Yeah. So he said, can you please stay here with me? And I told him, hell no, they're going <laughs> to think I'm with you. Man. Yeah. So just grab the hose and wait right here. So he waited. After uh, after a while, they lo he loaded the car and he just left. The river's right here. Damn. And there's people right there waiting. What what really got me mad, I, I'm not I'm not um against the people migrating. Right, right. Because right. my mom migrated too, yeah, but she, my but she did it too. Uh she did it legally. Right. She went through a process. Uh, she went to Juarez to the consul. Uh, they checked her background and we're here in uh, uh in America. I don't I have nothing against it, but the thing is that people don't see that uh, right now, with the pandemic, there's no work. Right. The clinics, uh, all the hospitals are full of, full of COVID. Everywhere, the schools are closed, too. The schools are closed. And uh, these people, uh, I don't have nothing against them. But uh, what are we going to do with all those people? Right. We, we got veterans that don't have no place to stay. We got people, um, homeless people. Right. Everywhere, right. everywhere right. you go, we, we got homeless people. Uh, what got me mad that there were kids here in the park there were people with dogs here in the park. Right. They wanted to take their cars. So I got I got to the guy and I told him, look, motherfucker. They lived that and spent it. They said, hey, deja la señora, cabrón. Yeah. Don't, no te vayas a llevar el carro. Kick your ass. Right, right. And I, I really took my knife out. Yeah. I got my knife out. And, he, and the lady said, please stay with me. Don't leave me alone. Right. She grabbed her little girl. It was like a seven-year-old girl. You know, little girl. So we left the, this park. Is the the thing is uh, we don't know who they who, who the, uh, what I think I know I don't know much much of this immigration people that cross illegally is because they committed a crime right they did, did something over there uh, because if they were good people hardworking people they should go through right, a process right, right. they come over here commit another crime and, and now that if they were good good people hardworking people yeah. they probably have a job there. And they would be happy with what they're doing. Like, you know? I, like I have family in Mexico. Right, right. They, I tell them, hey, come over here. And then there's this, there's that, there's Medicaid, there's this, there's. 
they said we're better here yeah. than over there. We don't want to be in the United States. There's a lot of you know a lot of stuff going on over there. Right. What happened? I don't know much about. Are promising yeah, them yeah. Stuff. What happened? That I think that um. And every time just this, this political thing, they promise things. Yeah. That guy Biden he promised in a hundred days he was gonna fix everything, fix COVID, fix immigration, fix all the world, all the world problems. Uh, well, for Americans. Right. Just to get the vote. Now, now that he got the vote and he's the president, he's not helping no one. He's not helping no one. They haven't and, even uh, come down and, here. And we don't see it right now, but uh, like in less than a year, we're gonna see all the problems. We uh, we're gonna see people coming from everywhere. I saw people not from Mexico. I saw people from Iraq, yeah. India, China, from Europe. You know, people think that migrants are from El Salvador, Honduras, right, yeah. Mexico, South America. That's I, bullshit. I wish they were only uh, that's from bullshit. me. That's uh, they're bullshit. They're, they're, I've seen people from Africa, uh, Africa yeah. Iraq, Iran. Mm -hmm. We don't know uh, what their intentions are. Hopefully, they're good intentions. But um, right now, um, I put myself uh, in a position that maybe I'm going to get criticized for talking. Right. But uh, it's, it's not fair for this part from the, that belongs to the city of Mission. The right. city of Mission. There's a border patrol right, right, right over there, park, and uh, the guys are hiding right over there on the ground. Okay. They're hiding right there, just waiting. But you can see right now, there's a couple here with a little girl. They, they can come with a knife or something to see them and take their car. Right. And uh, they'll just uh, they'll just deport them back. Yeah. They won't they won't take them in prison or nothing. They'll just say it's uh, it was an accident, manslaughter, right. and yeah. all that. It's the uh, I I, I um, pray to God that uh, everything's gonna uh, well. I know it's never gonna change because immigration's for it's gonna right. be forever. It won't right. stop. But uh, the economy's gonna go down. The what Biden doesn't know. I'm gonna tell you the truth straight up. The 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 la, la pound of marijuana used to be two hundred and fifty dollars. With this this thing going on, it, it went up to three fifty. Oh really? Cross are, uh, drugs are, are gonna keep on crossing. Yeah. Now the rates of for illegals, I remember it was uh, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Right now it's a thousand dollars, a thousand five hundred. For kids, it's two thousand dollars. Wow. So the price gonna go up. The drugs are gonna the 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 people are, are still gonna do drugs. Right. Drug trafficking is gonna continue. What's gonna happen? The price gonna go up. Right. And more in the checkpoint. Uh, people think that they're secure and all that. They're gonna find a way. They want head of, one step ahead of, of uh, technology. They right now. They they have scanners too. They have um. They have a lot of technology. They, they can know where the border patrol are. They can uh, send somebody through another place, illegal, so they can uh, take their drugs across right, the, right. the Rio Grande like nothing. They're still going to continue. Yeah. Uh, it won't stop. Um, I don't know about the younger generation, what's going to happen to... I'm afraid for my two little girls. Because right. I don't know what the future is going to be for them. That's right. Um, uh, uh, this is crazy. Um, I know uh, us the, a, lot, uh, a lot of people don't know they're too young. The thing is that uh, the new generation that, that voted this time, there were anchor babies. Yeah. There were uh, kids that don't know nothing. They're, they never worked or nothing because their parents gave them everything. Uh, most of the fault are the parents. I've been myself because yeah, you uh, you want all the all the benefits from the United States. You want housing, you want Medicaid, you want food stamps, you want everything for free. Right. If, uh, and you teach your kids that's the way of life: right. living in houses, See, Medicaid, child support, all well, this. Well, have people, a baby. What people don't understand is, you know, my grandparents came across the border too, but they yes, came sir. looking for work, yes, and sir. they didn't get no handouts. Yes, they sir. worked, you know. But the, the people that are coming now, they're being promised stuff, yes, sir. you know, and that's why they're coming across. They're not coming across, hey, oh, well, we need a little for work because there's not work where we're at. No, they're coming because they're being promised things. And uh, and I think that's a big difference. So they come and they get the stuff that they're promised. Well, and, when, I, when, when I was here, I went to the border patrol, this park over there, and I told them, sir, you just, you just 
witness a crime. He said, it ain't my problem. Wow. And I, uh, so I told the lady, I'm gonna follow you. I don't want them to take your car or your little girl with you. Right. She said, stay with me. So I stayed with her. It's the, uh, there were five guys. They, they easily, they could, could have kicked my ass, right, easily, because right. they were afraid. Right. Maybe they didn't, they didn't come with bad, bad intentions, but once the people's afraid, they're gonna try and do anything, because right. they, they're afraid of getting caught or going through the process of detention and right. all that. So, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, city of Michigan should take care of this part. The river's right here. It used to be peppers on the river right there. Yeah. It, it closed. Or was Just, peppers on the river? Yeah, it was Oh, right that was here. right there? Right. Yeah. yeah. Get involved because they don't want all the paperwork. Right. Uh, they don't want to get uh, in, uh, you know, uh, harassed. Uh, uh, it, it's it's crazy. In the future, I don't know what's gonna happen. Is the we we cannot we cannot not even solve our own problems. Right. We had a lot of, a lot of problems in the United States states that we haven't solved for many years. Yeah. Look at all uh, the rioting going yeah, on. Every every president, every political people from small cities to big cities, they always promise something for the vote. Right. After they get elected, they forget about the people. They just want to be yeah. in the chair, and they uh, they forget about the people. They just so, want to make sure that they get what they get. And and uh, como the, los coyotes te prometen, eso está decir, hey, mira, te vamos a cruzar esto lo otro, a de aquel lado es Macal. Ah, no, te dicen, ¿a qué lado es Houston? La gente como no sabe, se cruza y llegan y dicen, oye, ¿es aquí es Houston? No, <risa> es Macali. Yeah. Entonces le pagué los 3 mil dólares y no es Houston. Dicen, no. Ellos no les importa tu vida si te mueres en el camino. No les importa si te violan en el camino. No les importa si te... Para ellos nomás eres una mercancía. Just a simple merchandise to get money. Right. They don't care about your life, your baby, your kid, if you get drowned. If you fall or get bitten by a snake, they just let you, they can't die because they're still going to continue their route. They don't care. Right now, right now uh, we're going to be here, we're going to witness some some illegal stuff. And the bird of right there, and they won't do nothing. They're going to freak out. It's just a little park here called La Lomita. It's a historical park from the city of Mason. From the city of Mason. This is not private, this is not, it's from the city, from taxpayers' money. Yeah. That, that it got all, it, it got at restaurants, it got barbecue pits. So, no, people's And it's a nice place. Yeah, it's a real it's nice place. It's a nice place. place. But like people, people from man, Chicago, New York City, everywhere, Kansas. Oh, so you Indiana, saw a different yeah, license place? Yeah. They come here just to see the park and all that. Because oh. it's a historic park. Now they're afraid to come. Right. Because uh, so they don't know. Yeah. Because the, the, the news ain't going to tell them there's a crisis to tell you about these illegal things. Because nobody, uh, nobody that's going to tell you. But uh, this is real life. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. tell me what you saw uh, it, earlier today. Yeah. In, in the, uh, well, it was like 11.30 in the morning. I, okay. Uh, I was here at the church, and I saw the, the I, I saw some cars parking, and I saw some young people, I said, man, they're going to have a barbecue, a little party, and I was right. happy for it. Oh, then I said, God, thank you, God, yeah. for this nice day, they're going to have a little barbecue. Right. When I was inside the church, this white guy, this white girls came to me, and they told me, hey, where are you from? They told me, here, from McKellar. And they said, oh, we're from San Antonio. Oh, uh, so this church is sold, and I said, yeah. So what are you here for? Uh, we're just waiting for someone. And I said, waiting for someone? Okay, that's cool. I never thought in my mind they were waiting for illegals. Wow. Never thought in my mind. One had the hood open, like they were fixing it. The other one had the trunk open. There was had a, they never had a, 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 a bag of charcoal, like they were gonna barbecue. Cool. They had it all planned. When I looked out, when it, uh, after she got the text, people started coming up from that side from the grass. Like 15, 20 people, they got in the cars. So they're connected. They're connected. They're, they got everything. After a while, when I was there watering, people started coming. They were asking me, hey, you what? Estás esperando gente tu también? I told them, bro, get the fuck out of here. I'm just watering the plants because it's a 
this is a church. This is like right. the, the house of God. And um, they stayed here. Wait, I told him, wow. I told the guy, man, you, you're too young to go to prison. Also, that new car that you have, they're gonna take it away. Because the federal, they, once you have an illegal immigrant inside a car, yeah. it's illegal. It's like carrying a, a, a concealed weapon, a right. firearm. They're gonna take your car. He said, I need the money. I'm getting paid, I work as a waiter, I'm getting paid this much. I'm gonna get a thousand dollars for each, each uh, people. Each that, and I told them, that's wow. bullshit. They won't give you a thousand dollars. They just pay with their mind. I told them, bro, you're not, you're not good for this. Maybe they're gonna kick your ass and take the car out. Right so get away from me. And he, he even asked me, hey, por favor, que esta aquí, porque mira, esto lo otro, es my first time, tengo miedo. I told him, bail out, bro. Yeah. It's your chance to bail out. Go home. Wow. But he's, he still stayed. He picked up the people. I don't know what happened to him. He just left. But uh, the Border Patrol, uh, what, what made me mad, they would, they, they wanted to take the, 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 the ladies' car. That's what got involved. And the Border Patrol saw and I told him, hey, there's a crime being committed right here. He said, not my problem. Called wow. Mission PD. I said, man, what's going on? Yeah. And um, and I called Mission PD, and they said it ain't our problem either. It's Border Patrol uh, problem. Wow. So I said, so, so I, so who's gonna help this lady? Uh, can you give me a number so we can call you back? And I said, I ain't gonna give you a number. I'm just gonna take this lady out of here and her little girl yeah. and the dog. So this is bullshit. Yeah, uh, crazy. it's crazy, man. Like right now, it's the it's gonna fall. The the uh, the sun's gonna go down, and people are right there just the waiting. Way. Yeah, they got GPS. They got everything.